Hi, Colter here. Um, I'm going to uh, give you my opinion on um, the episode 7 of the Orville uh, called Majority Rules. This is a very, very good episode which kind of, which deals in social media, um, mob rule, of course, and uh, even they tap into the concept of cultural appropriation. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, I urge you to see it, but as you know, the episode begins with uh, two guys giving a heartfelt apology on a television show. Then later, they're hauled off into some type of gallows-looking area, uh, and one of them decides to run, and fortunately, he gets shot dead. Then we jump to the Orville, which is looking for a couple of anthropologists, looking for um, a couple of their guys, you know, looking for, you know, they're looking for these guys. And also, there's something very interesting about this show. It was time travel without time travel. It was a good excuse to go to a 20th century Earth without explaining that they travel back in time to 20th century Earth. Of course, they have their own version of the Prime Directive in which they are not allowed to interfere with the local culture, although that these people look indistinguishable from humans from parallel development that's just basically the problem also um, we have something interesting that uh, the Union has cloaking technology of course questions are going to be raised why don't they use it against the krill it's probably it's not that good uh, that's that's just my thing but the fact that they got it is just kind of interesting considering they don't have transports they just use shuttles and that makes a lot of sense all right. Uh, like I said, with the Orville, the crew has to go in disguise to find out what happened to the anthropologist. Alara has to wear a funny-looking hat. Uh, Lamar has to wear outfit along with skinny jeans. Uh, of course, First Officer Kelly is pretty much there. And, of course, our doctor, who finally gets a little bit more than a few lines, as they search through uh, to find out, they understand that everybody has a badge that determines up, down votes. Like I said, this is how social media works. It kind of reminds me when um, somebody puts a video out there and they get really, really pissy that it doesn't go beyond 10. Hell, I got videos that don't go beyond 7. Oh well. If you're not interested, you're not interested. What are you going to do? <laughs> so, but if you want to support me, please look at those videos. Sorry about that, I just kicked my desk. <laughs> but, uh, support those videos. As I was saying, um, it, it just kind of it delves into into that area of, uh, and but it's more personal. You get to see how it works individually, and then you understand that by 18 you get these badges which determine up that, you know, how your life goes and stuff like that. Once you reach, like, I guess a million or, yeah, I think a million, that's when, or something. But if you have over 500,000, they treat you like, like dirt. You know, they won't serve you in certain places. It was painfully apparent with the, uh, the, uh, barista, uh, got La Sarah? Oh, jeez, I can't remember her name for some reason. I got so much in my mind today. But, um, like I said, you, you had, you had all that. And then you had Lamar getting in trouble by grinding up against the statue of, I guess, their equivalent of George Washington or something like that. Or, or and, then, and that's just bad taste. And then come the votes, which basically turn you from indistinct individual to just, ugh, you know. <laughs> I mean, the, the commentary on um, how... A person's life lives in um, dies by up and down votes. Again, it it sort of looks like when you look at things on Instagram and um, Twitter and uh, YouTube. YouTube. I mean, most of us who do videos, we kind of live and die by the ups or down votes or the number of views. You know, we 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 kind of live and 
die by this. I mean, another case of uh, somebody living and dying by it is a guy named Randy Stairs. If you don't know who he is, I suggest you look up Mr. Matoker's video on uh, Randy Stairs. It's kind of... It's eye-opening, and it's sad at the same time. Not to mention there are Daddy 05, and uh, there's, there's just a good amount of people here on YouTube which which uh, are people who think they can become the next YouTube personality or their next video will go viral. Maybe they say the right thing. Maybe they, maybe they do the right thing or the weird thing or something like that, and they hope for internet fame and maybe uh, a five-minute guest spot on Good Morning America. But back to Orville. Um, I, again, I say this episode is extremely well-written. I mean, the fact that if you get, uh, what was it, uh, 10 million downvotes, you wind up getting this lobotomy uh, of sorts. And... And there's, like, no coming back from it. I mean, they would have happily probably let Lamar just go through it. They would take him back to the ship, repair him, and he's, he's back to normal. But since there was no getting around that, you know. But I do have to say, this show has given us more in-depth characters. For instance, Lamar freaking out. I mean, let's be honest. Most of us would freak out if we were told that they were going to give us a lobotomy for bad taste. Could you just imagine it? Let that sink in. Let that sink in for about two seconds. You do something is considered in bad taste, and they say, "Well, we're going to have to lobotomize you." I was wondering what the hell that was. All right, they're going to have to lobotomize you. You would freak out too. I mean, I would be like, oh, shit, no, 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 no. But, uh, like I said, this is this this episode is extremely good. Um, it, it's, it's got a lot of people talking. That much I do know. A lot of people are talking about this episode. And, quite frankly, they should. I mean, um, I've heard people... In, in a weird way, politically, this kind of justifies the uh, electoral college. Yeah, I know most of you think, oh, it's antiquated, we don't need it. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do, because people can live and die by the, this mindset. That ain't cutting it. I mean, it's it's like I said, this, this, ep this episode was interesting. Time travel without the time traveling, you know, <laughs> that that I thought was kind of interesting. Just show it. This was also done on um, an episode of uh, Andromeda, I think, in one of the uh, I think season four of, and of Andromeda, where they kind of did that. They found themselves on a planet that was similar to twenty first century Earth, and you know they had to basically maintain a prime directive. Oh no, there are no aliens exist, uh, and. Uh, also, there's another thing about the whole uh, majority rule thing. Was uh, It's also from an episode of Doctor Who with the Sixth Doctor. I cannot remember the name of the episode. Perhaps some of you viewers do. In which there was a leader of, on the planet. And to determine whether he was going to stay in office, the populace would vote. And they would hit their button, yes or no. And it would determine whether this guy lives or dies. You know, which, again, is a really sucky way to give him an office. But, dang, what are you going to do? All right. Um, I just thought I'd give you my opinion. I give it uh, five stars this episode. Actually, four stars. Because, um, like, like I said, it was well written. It hit the point. And quite frankly, if... I, I don't know how to put this. Maybe CBS should have given Star Trek Discovery over to Seth MacFarlane. That's just my thing. <laughs> I Seriously, show of hands here. Um, how many of you think that if Les Moonves was out of the picture, 
and there was somebody else running CBS, and they said, okay, um, we don't know some of these guys who did XNR, but how about we give uh, this sh a shot to um, Seth MacFarlane to do Star Trek? I, just out of curiosity, um, just, just hit the thumbs up, okay? That would tell me that uh, the good amount of you actually would agree with me on this final point. <laughs> so, um, until then, I'm Filter. Um, I may be doing a stream tonight. Uh, I might not be. I don't know. It depends on um, what going on and the girlfriend and uh, I don't know kill me oh, well anyway um I'm filter I'm out of here and please look at those videos <laughs>